Hello and welcome to the Entrepreneur Drummer. It's Eddie here and it's a pleasure to be doing another video for you today. Today I want to talk to you about email lists, the benefits of having one and how you can get started with one today. For those of you that don't know what an email list is, then an email list is essentially just a list of emails from leads that you acquire. And if you don't know what a lead is, a lead is essentially someone that wants to work with you that is your ideal client. It's basically a potential client, someone that's interested in working with you and someone that suits your target audience. So essentially, you're building up this list of emails from all the people that are interested in working with you, interested in your services and your products. So you can start to see how valuable that would be. In my opinion, there are three main benefits of having an email list. The first one being that it's a really good trust builder, really good opportunity for you to start building trust with your leads. As I've talked about a million times, one of the main ways to get clients is by building trust. You cannot get someone to work with you and hand over their money if they don't trust you. So building trust is a really key element in this whole process. So when you have someone's email that's interested in working with you, it gives you the chance to add value, to give them free information, to build trust with them, to follow up, see how they're doing, and this in turn will make you much more likely to land them as a client somewhere down the line. The second benefit of having an email list is that you can stay top of mind with all your leads. Similar to the last point, I try to drill this in as many people's heads as possible that you need to stay top of mind with potential clients or your leads. If you don't follow up regularly, if you don't make yourself known, if you don't keep in touch with people that are interested in working with you, then they're going to forget about you. And when it does come to the point where they need a session musician to work on the project, then they might not be thinking of you. And at that point, you would have lost the project. You would have lost the chance of landing them as a client. Therefore, having an email list of your leads, staying in touch regularly, sending them out free content on a regular basis is key for staying top of mind and key for getting more people wanting to work with you in the future. The last benefit of an email list is that it gives you an opportunity to pitch your services to the people that are most interested in them. If you've built your email list right, the people that are on your email list will be qualified as leads that will be interested in working with you and if they're not, they'll probably unsubscribe and leave. That's totally fine because they work right for you anyway. But the people that are on your list and stay in your list will want to work with you in the future. So it's only right to serve them and offer to work with them and offer to add even more value than just the content that you're giving out for free. Let me just say something really important now about pitching your services to your email list. You should not feel bad for doing this. I feel bad sometimes. It's something that I'm trying to get out of. But... If you're adding value to your list, which I do every single week, I give out free content every week, I basically ram as much free content in people's faces as possible and give as much as I can, you should be doing this too. And if you are doing this, you should not feel bad for pitching once in a while. Don't get me wrong, don't do it all the time. Don't be overly pushy about it, but you do need to be offering your services too to make the people know that you do have something more to offer and if they do want your services then they're there for the taking. You pitching your services, pitching what you're good at, pitching your skills is just you trying to serve your people, you're just trying to do them a favour, you're a business, you're giving value in exchange for money, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're adding value and you're giving just as much as you're trying to sell. So in order to build an email list you need something called a lead magnet which is a free downloadable piece of content, a free online product that you give away in exchange for someone's email address. Examples of lead magnets for session musicians could be things like drum loops, drum samples, guitar amp settings, vocal warm-up techniques, tutorial videos, worksheets, cheat sheets, uh, workshops, anything that adds value and helps your target audience solve a problem. Of course, your lead magnet needs to have some kind of relevance to what you sell. If you're a session drummer selling remote recording services and you're giving away guitar EQ settings, then that is not going to go hand in hand. If you are a drummer offering remote recording to producers, then your lead magnet could be something like how to edit and mix drums. Uh, so then you're basically recording for producers They've got your cheat sheet, they've got your guide on how to edit and mix the drums that you've recorded to them. If you're offering things like drum courses or 
online drum teaching, then you could do a guide or a mini workshop about certain techniques or how to improve your playing for beginners. Just make sure that your lead magnet ties in nicely with what you offer because if it doesn't, then you're going to have an email list full of people that are interested in your products and you won't convert anybody. So here I am on the Wix website editor. I just want to quickly show you how you would actually go about creating an opt-in page for your lead magnet and how you can trigger your email to send to the person who opts in to send them the lead magnet to then grow your email list. So I'm doing this on uh, Wix, the website builder. It's what I use for one of my websites. I uh, highly recommend it. If you're using something else like uh, Squarespace or Kajabi or WordPress, then maybe you want to leave it here. But if you do have a website with Wix or if you're interested in moving over to Wix or if you haven't got a website at all, I want to start with Wix, then I'd definitely stick around for this quick tutorial. I'm just quickly going to show you now how you go about creating an opt-in page and getting an email list started. Just so you know, there's a link in the description of this video below where you can go and get started with Wix today for free. Start building your website for absolutely free. To be completely transparent, it is an affiliate link. I am partners with Wix and the only reason I am partners with Wix is because I really believe in the website builder. I think it's one of the best ones out there, especially for the price. And it doesn't cost you any extra to use my affiliate link. If you don't choose to use my affiliate link, that's absolutely fine. But if you do, then all it does is it takes a little bit of your cut of what you would pay if you do decide to upgrade and gives it to me. And that just helps support me and supports what I do. So if you don't use that, no hard feelings. But if you want to start up a website with Wix, I'd uh, highly appreciate it if you hit that link. And that'll take you to start a website up with Wix for free. So all that aside, now let's get into how we actually create this opt-in page on Wix. So the first thing we do to create a new page is go to this top left hand corner and we go on to manage pages and then from there we add a page. We can uh, rename this now to opt-in and if we click into that we can change a load of settings, SEO and things like that. So as you can see that now appears at the top right hand side in our menu in our drop down menu. Um, so to change the background, we'll quickly double click this, change background, color, just to match the rest of it, and there we go. So just for the sake of getting this video done quickly, because I want to give you this information as quickly as possible, I know your time's valuable, so let's just say the copy, the text, the advertisement, the promotion for the lead magnet is all here, that's a big title, um, everything's all in its place, and all we need to do now is add the opt-in form. So we go to this menu on the left hand side, go on to add apps. And here you'll see a uh, get subscribers, Wix get subscribers. And this is built especially for Wix, it's built by Wix. It integrates really well with your website. And as you can see, it says grow your mailing list with a sign up form. So we just simply press add and that adds the form straight here. So um, like I say, just imagine the text and everything else is there. We're gonna go into settings now and just quickly go through some of these. So if we go into manage form, um, we can choose whether we get notifications or not when someone subscribes and uh, opts in for our lead magnet. We can choose the email, which that gets sent to. Um, so we're just typing our email here to be notified. Um, you can change a few of the um, contact options here. You can add an option for a name, which I do recommend. So you can address people who do actually join the email list. Um, there's an option for a phone as well here, but to be quite honest, all you should um, ask for, for people to sign up to your lead magnet is a name and email address. The more options you put in, the more friction you create, and the less chance of somebody filling this form out. So just a name and email will be fine, or you could even maybe get away with just an email. However, I do recommend asking for a name too. There's a whole lot of other options here that you can change if you want to. And one quick point I would say is don't say something like join our mailing list. No one ever wants to join a mailing list. So instead of having text like that, you'd say something like download uh, lead magnet below. So I know that looks scruffy, but um, whatever your lead magnet is called, you just 
say something along the lines of download below, get your lead magnet now, get your workshop now, get your guide now, something like that. Never miss an update. You can put something like um, get access to free exclusive bonuses and training straight to your inbox, something like that. And then again, you don't put subscribe now. You can change the text in that and you'd put something like download now or get now or something like that. No opt-in now, no subscribe now. No one actively wants to be on an email list and get sent emails. So you need to base the text around them getting their lead magnet, them getting their problems solved. So you can change all kinds of layout options here. You can change the design to fit in with the color scheme of your website, but we're not going to worry about that now. We're actually going to focus on getting this automation to get the email sent to someone that opts in. So we click on emails here and then simply just onto welcome your new subscribers. So what this does, it opens up the automation section of your account where you can drive all your automations. So I haven't used automations on this website for a while. So I'm just going to make these inactive because I don't use them anymore. Then you click on new automation. It sounds really, you know, complicated, but it actually isn't at all. New automation, rename it to lead. Whoops. Let me try that again. To lead magnet opt-in, just so it gives you a reference for later on. Choose an app, so you actually use the Wix Get Subscribers, so you click that and trigger every time visitor subscribes and it will know when someone fills out this get subscribers form and then it will trigger this email. So you can choose now what to actually trigger, how the trigger should respond when this get subscribers form is filled out. So from there you just click on send email to visitors and from here you've got a template there to use. So you can edit the template you can customize this, make this look great. Um, this is where you'll basically welcome them to your email list. You'll give them the lead magnet and you can do that simply by clicking this button here. You can customize a button, customize a text. You could say something on the lines of download. You can actually link to two separate things here um, when they click this download button. Um, you can link to a web address so that's if your lead magnet is stored on a secret URL on, a, on your website. So if it's a workshop or video content, that might be the best idea. But if it's a simple PDF checklist or guide, you may have the document saved on your computer as a PDF file. You can link to a document here, choose the file. And there you go. You'll be able to upload the lead magnet. And then when they get this email, they'll just be able to click the download button below and get access to the lead magnet straight away. So save and continue now. You've got everything all set up. And this here is where you can actually set a time when they receive this lead magnet. So I do recommend you send this straight away because this is when this person is most interested about the lead magnet. So you need to give them it straight away. So their interest is still there and you're solving the problem straight away when they want it solving. So from here, we simply just click activate, it creates your automation for you, which takes a little while. There we go, your automation is live. So view automations, you can see that here we go, it's on. With different accounts, you get access to a certain amount of automations. And you can see with my kind of account, um, I've got one automation left, but this is all you need. I also recommend creating another automation to trigger an email probably seven days after they opt in. And that can just be a help and support and follow up email just to sort of ask them how they're getting on, if they need any help. And it gives you a chance to add more value to them while they're on your list. So that is it. Incredibly simple. All I would do now is click publish and then that would be live. People would type in their email address hit download now and they will receive that email we created by the template and they'll be able to download the lead magnet and that is how you start building your email list. You'll be able to store all your contacts within Wix and then send them emails when you want, schedule email campaigns 
to then keep following up, stay in top of mind, give them more value and pitch your products or services. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, if you want to start a website with Wix, if you want to move to Wix, then click that link in the description to get started for free.